Hello everybody, I'm Marshall Kellner, he's Greg Murray, we're your play-by-play -play broadcasters for the 2012 season here with the Battle Creek Bombers. And with the first half coming to a close, Greg, second half starting, Battle Creek has a lot of hopes for a much better second half. But let's review the first half, then we'll get into a preview of the second half of play. The biggest story offensively has to be the man from Purdue North Central, Colin Willis. He has just been tremendous for Battle Creek in the leadoff spot, team leading 328 batting average, team leading 19 RBIs, team leading 44 hits, has also mixed in two home runs. Willis has been outstanding. And you can't say enough about him, really, out of Purdue North Central. Didn't really know what to expect, a guy that hasn't faced a lot of Division One talent, but he has stepped up for the task, and then some, just being a real five-tool player. Excellent in the outfield, excellent on the bases, as you mentioned, the leading hitter so far in the first half. And I think what's most impressive about him is that he's never been intimidated by facing all D1 athletes. He's told us from, from the very get-go, he's not going to be intimidated by the speed, he has the confidence, and he has quick enough hands to catch up to anything, even in the low 90s, we've seen him do it. But he's not intimidated by anyone or anything, playing in front of a bunch of fans, doesn't face. Now and let's get to the bullpen. That has been another big time positive for Battle Creek, especially the back end of the bullpen with Brian Heldman, Kenton San Miguel, and Alex Tukey. They, Kenton San Miguel, Brian Heldman have kind of been the seven and eight, uh, eighth inning guys, and then Alex Tukey as a closer in the ninth inning. Heldman, at this point, two and two, 1.08 ERA. Tukey, one and two, 2.04 ERA. 29 strikeouts in 17 and two-thirds innings against just seven walks. They have been outstanding, that back end. And as you said, at 10-0, and when we lead after seven innings to the Battle Creek Bombers, with Heldman, he's gained six miles an hour on his fastball, working with Higgy in the first half. Just a tremendous improvement, throwing from that unique submarine arm slot. He's just made his pitches so much harder to hit. Alex Tukey, returning from last year's championship team, he threw 26 games very good out of the bullpen in last season. He's done that. And then some, as you mentioned, leads the team in strikeouts per nine, just missing bats, and he challenges hitters with his fastball in the low 90s. Kenton San Miguel's done an excellent job. His batting average against near the 200 mark, as is Heldman and Tukey. Another guy from the bullpen that's been pretty solid out of the bullpen is even Ethan Bramshriver. Absolutely. Tremendous. Uh, struggled a bit in his first few appearances, but has really settled down, keeping his stuff in the strike zone. Has excellent stuff. Opponent batting average of around 150. And they have such power arms, a multitude of them late, that they can bring in and kind of mix and match, especially with San Miguel, the lefty, the power arm. Then you can come down with the submarine angle of Tukey, or of uh, Heldman, yeah. and then Tukey more over the top. So they kind of bring something each unique to the table. Yeah, and the negative of the first half probably has been the injuries. Yep. And uh, the injuries to Turner Gill and to Jared Hook, most notably. Jeremy Shea missed a considerable amount of time a couple weeks with the hamstring, but unfortunately Gill and Hook had to go home. Those were two left-handed bats with power that Battle Creek was counting on kind of made them redefine who they are as a team offensively. Yeah, both of those players hit three through five uh, in the Battle Creek order. They were the real heart and soul at the beginning of the year. Turner Gill <laughs> sidelined originally just for a few days, but this that lingering injury kept coming. Unfortunately, he had to go home in a terrible break for Battle Creek and Jared Hope. We had to feel for him coming in on route, just a feeling a ground ball coming in from third base, and he had some knee problems after that, was sent home. But now we have these new players coming in. We've picked up more temporary contract players. They've stepped up. And now that we have Connor Costello most recently coming in from Arkansas, now that Battle Creek, they have their full team ready to go and the, with the record starting over beginning on July 5th, this team's ready to make another, to repeat as champions. All right. For Greg Murray, I'm Marshall Kellner. That's your first half review. So Battle Creek has a better second half and has a chance to defend its 2011 championship.